Welcome to Ohio Gateway Day. I'm Jackie Reese Ulmer, Dean of Ohio University's College of Business. Congratulations on your acceptance into our selective college. The College of Business is known as one of the nation's best choices for business education. That's why we're consistently ranked as one of the best public undergraduate programs in the country. I know you've got a big decision ahead of you, and there are several factors you're considering as you decide where to study for the next several years. But as a new member of the Bobcat family, I can tell you there are many reasons why you should study business in Athens. One of the reasons we will be your best decision is our dedicated faculty. They will be your biggest advocates and cheerleaders during your time as a student and beyond. While you are here, they take an interest in your professional goals and help connect you with internships and career planning opportunities. They will introduce you to industry professionals and College of Business alumni in your field who want to hire business Bobcats. When you land that first job or get accepted into graduate school, our faculty are celebrating along with you. They take great pride in seeing students succeed and fulfill their dreams. Another reason the College of Business will be your best decision is that all the opportunities that are available to you are here. With 12 majors, 5 minors, and 12 certificates, we have developed programs that allow you to personalize your learning and become immersed in several disciplines, from management to MIS, accounting to analytics, economics to entrepreneurship, as well as marketing, finance, and sports management. We offer programs to meet your interests and help you broaden your skills. Our rigorous curriculum is designed to equip you with the knowledge to make an impact during your time here and once you start your career. Our centers of excellence, such as the Shea Sales Center and the Walter Center for Strategic Leadership, provide hands-on experiences to complement your coursework. We also offer international opportunities, including consulting programs that allow you to solve complex business problems for international clients. These experiences will set you apart as you start your career. I am confident in your ability to succeed here. Our Career and Student Success Center has a team of advisors and career coaches who are dedicated to connecting you to tools and resources to make your time in college meaningful. I am happy to welcome you to the College of Business, your home for the next four years. I hope you are ready to get started and make the college part of your life forever. See you in the fall. Next, you will be hearing from Dr. Strode, the chair of the Sports Administration Department. Justin Kelly, one of our College of Business student ambassadors, will be asking Dr. Strode how students can make the most of their time here. Hello, I'm Justin Kelly and I'm a member of the College of Business student ambassadors. I would like to introduce you to Dr. Jim Strode, Associate Professor and Chair of the Sports Administration Department. Justin, it's a pleasure to join you today. Dr. Strode, I know our future students and their parents are interested in learning more about the College of Business programs. I'm currently a finance, accounting, business pre-law and marketing student. For our students who are undecided about their area of study, can you tell them more about the majors that are available in the College of Business? Absolutely, Justin, and I think I counted four majors there. Um, there's no doubt that you know, you're an exceptional student here, and we have so many exceptional students that choose one of our 12 majors that we have in the College of Business. Anything ranging from international business, strategic management, and leadership, finance, accounting, marketing, sport management. Uh, we have something for everybody here uh, in the College of Business. We've got five minors as well as 12 certificate programs. And a lot of times students don't necessarily understand what a certificate program is, but a certificate program really incorporates courses from a lot of different disciplines. So for example, we have one in consumer research, we have one in sales, we have one in esports. So there really is something for everybody here in Athens. Yeah, Dr. Strode, you know, I really, I'm really with you on that. That's something that I have been able to take advantage of, been able to mix and match majors. And I know many students as well that take advantage and pick up minors to get more specialized in their interests. One of the other things I also really appreciate about my, my first year at Ohio University is that my classmates and I could take business courses right away. Can you share a little bit about what those first year courses look like for students? Oh, absolutely. So, you know, we are, we're, we're at that sweet spot. We're just the right size uh, for a university. And we definitely put a lot of effort and time into making sure that our students are in small classroom sizes. Um, and we, we make sure that we have a lot of high touch points with our students, with our faculty members uh, early on and throughout their entire career here at OU. The first thing that uh, students will be focusing on will be taking our Copeland core. And our Copeland core is a collection of uh, general business courses that students will take to sort of set the foundation for them um, and also make sure that uh, business is the right major for them. 
We also have a series of other career building classes that are critically important for student success. We don't think that it's too early to start building your resume, building your cover letter, working on your interviewing skills as an 18 year old freshman coming into to campus. Uh, we also have learning communities where students are paired up with a faculty member in their chosen discipline. And don't worry, if you are undecided, we will put you in a group of students uh, that are also undecided so you can all uh, collectively figure out uh, what, uh, what path you so choose to take here uh, at Ohio University. But our learning communities are really a way for our students to connect. You're paired up with a faculty member and an under upperclassman student in the College of Business to uh, really help you navigate uh, your time as a first year student here at OU. Uh, you have an ally, you have a resource, you have a friend. Uh, so in our learning communities, we're really focused on trying to build that collectiveness that is so special about the College of Business. Yeah, Dr. Strode, my experience with the Copeland Corps was very beneficial. It's somebody who you can go to, somebody you can speak to, as well as you're with 25 other friends coming in that first year. That's something somebody you can go to lunch with, somebody you can get dinner with, somebody you can work on homework with because you are in the same classes together. So that was something that, for me, that was very awesome and very, and very cool to experience. You know, additionally, I've worked closely with my advisor in the Career and Student Success Center to plan my schedule and know which courses I'm supposed to take each semester. What are some of the other reasons a student might want to connect with their advisor? Our academic advising staff is absolutely amazing. And no doubt, when you are in the Copeland Corps, you're going to learn how to build your roadmap for your academic career. And your academic advising staff is going to be able to help you and support you along the way. They're going to help you with some of those difficult things that uh, may trip you up early, like adding classes, dropping classes, finding a substitute for a class. They're also very knowledgeable about all of the majors, minors, and certificates in the college. So if there's something that you might be missing, if you've got some extra elective credit here or there that you could help uh, build towards something that you could also level up your skills and put on your resume, they're there to help you. Yeah, Dr. Schroeder, I really think you hit the point on the head. I remember going to my academic advisors and saying, hey, I really need some help picking classes. I understood what is my global perspective going to be. So in addition to those university-wide opportunities like study abroad, one of the things I had to do, what kind of business-specific opportunities would you encourage students to consider to meet the global perspective requirement? We have two outstanding programs here that connect our students with international business. The first is our global consulting program, or we call it GCP. And what we do here is we provide an opportunity for our students to do a consulting project with large corporations internationally. So we have GCPs located in France, in Italy, in Germany, in Greece, and our students get academic credit to go out uh, to Europe and work with our clients, our partners, as well as earn internship credit for those. We also have the Ohio International Consulting Program, or OICP. And if you want that international experience but don't want to leave Athens, Ohio, uh, we have this program specifically for you. This is an opportunity to be able to still virtually meet with international clients, and we actually have one of our, our partners, Sujeti, out of Brazil who spends their summer here in Athens, Ohio. So you get to work with Sujeti and other partners to be able to also do a live consulting project that counts for your internship. That's great. I, one of the ways I actually fit my Global Perspective credit was doing the Global Consulting Program. I was lucky enough to go to Thessaloniki, Greece, actually the summer after my freshman year, which is an experience not a lot of my peers had and something that was really awesome towards my experience. And I know you had mentioned as well that you do get the internship credit through the Global Consulting Program, but I also understand that every student in the COB has to have an internship or an experiential learning requirement before they graduate. So how does the college help students find those opportunities? That's a great question. Um, as you know, that we are passionate about making sure that our students leave not only with the academic credentials, but also some real world internship and work experience. And we have a dedicated career staff that will help our students along the way from the first class that you take in the Copeland Corps to the last class you take in terms of capstone. Our staff and our faculty are gonna be working hard to be able to connect you with those real world industry experiences. Over one third of our students do more than one internship. We know it's a requirement, but we also know that Bobcats go the extra mile. Yeah, I've been lucky enough to where I actually did two professional internships here through the college of business. And I actually got those through career fairs as well, which is really awesome, one in San Francisco and then one in Chicago. 
So with that, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to understand my internships, help me decide what career I want. You know, what kind of career advising should I expect through the college? You know, our students have a dedicated career coach that will be helping them navigate uh, not only their internships, but also their careers. But we have tons of opportunities here on campus where over 300 companies come back here to Athens, Ohio to participate in a variety of our career fairs. We have business career fairs, we have sport career fairs, we have specific discipline career fairs that give our students an opportunity to get out in front of uh, the, the business world as well as the sport world to be able to get gainful employment. Yeah, that, you know, those career fairs and then going, the college really does a nice job of preparing students to get ready for those career fairs, speaking to the professionals, getting an understanding of what they're looking for and what they're looking for in students to their experience. You know, our career staff and our faculty also help our students with cover letters, with resumes. Um, our, we have a 90% placement of three months out after graduation of students either getting gainful employment or going on to graduate school. And the average income of College of Business students is over $50,000 a year. And we're really proud and excited about those outcomes. We have a number of businesses that come down to Athens to specifically recruit our Bobcats, including J.P. Morgan Chase, PNC, and many, many others. Yeah, I've had a really awesome experience going to the career fairs, working with the career coaches, and just getting an understanding of what employers are looking for. You know, employers really do want to see that you're making the most of your time here at Ohio University. So what advice, Dr. Strode, would you offer to students who want to make the most of their time as business Bobcats? The biggest piece of advice I can give to incoming students is to get involved from day one. We like to tell our students that we would like to see them get involved in a business organization, a business student organization, um, as well as something that is uh, leisure, something that is fun uh, on campus. So we've got a ton of opportunities for students to be able to get involved and start to make those meaningful connections, not only with their classmates, but also with the wonderful industry connections that we can bring to campus. I would also highly encourage you to get to know your instructors, get to know your faculty members. We have a nice balance of faculty members that have industry connections, who have worked in the corporate business or sport world, coupled with those that are some of the leading researchers in their field in the world. So get to know them, open door policy around campus. Uh, our faculty work tirelessly to make sure that our student experience is fantastic. Yeah, Dr. Stroud, I think you really hit a really big point there with the faculty members. I cannot tell you how genuine the faculty here at Ohio University are. How many times I've just stopped into the office to say hi to some of my professors. How many times I've gotten lunch with them to talk about some career opportunities. And how some of them are the first people I call when I have some big life decisions to make. So the faculty here are really genuine and I think they will encourage you also to get involved in a variety of student organizations. And like you had mentioned that students should get involved in a variety through selective programs. Can you talk more about some of those options? Absolutely. We have many selective student organizations in the College of Business, including four in accounting and finance, two in leadership, one in sales, and of course, our Copeland Scholars Honors Program. We also have a number of business fraternities for our students to participate in, as well as many other organizations. And you know what? If there's not an organization for you and you have an idea and you want to start your own organization, just find a faculty member as an advisor and we'll get that started for you. Yeah, I've been lucky enough to where I actually joined a variety of student organizations, both inside and outside the College of Business. I joined the Shea when I came in as a freshman. I joined Student Senate. And I just really wanted to get involved not only in the college, but also around campus. And I also know that one of the, one of the areas on campus that the College of Business helps with a little bit is the CoLab. And, and I know it's a center of entrepreneurship. And I know the College of Business has several centers of excellence that connect students to those industry opportunities to, and provide real, real world projects that help them gain even more experience during their time at Ohio that employers love hearing about. Can you talk more about the experience students will have through those centers of excellence? Absolutely, Justin, you mentioned that your involvement in the Ralph and Lucy Shea Sales Center is one of those meaningful experiences for you, and we're tremendously proud of that center of excellence. So for those students that are wondering what a center is, um, it is an extension of the classroom. It is extension of the academic offering that we have, 
and our centers try to level up what you're getting in the classroom by providing additional leadership opportunities, travel opportunities, and additional funding for you to be able to do all of those really neat things that we, we love to uh, make sure our students have the opportunity to do. So in the Shea Sales Center, one of the outstanding things that, uh, that uh, happens in that center is that the amount of training that our students get in the world of sales allows them to hit the ground running when they get, uh, get that first job. They sometimes come in with more sales experience than people that are not just fresh out of college, right? So there are so many opportunities for students to be able to uh, get those meaningful skills in our centers. We have the Walter Center for Strategic Leadership, which is also one of our centers of excellence, which provides uh, leadership training. We have the AECOM Center for Sports Administration, which provides case competitions for our students, as well as other opportunities for our students to be able to do live consulting projects with real world sport organizations around the country and around the world. And we're, again, really proud of the fact that we have so many centers of excellence here in the College of Business to support the academic mission. Yeah, Dr. Stroud, I really feel like those centers really add to the culture here in the college. And you know, can you speak more on like, what is the overall cultural like in the College of Business? College is a time to be able to explore what you want to be when you grow up, but also to take some chances and take some risks. So one of the wonderful things about our college is that in the classroom, in our student organizations, in all of the activities that are a part of the College of Business, we are really strong on making sure that our students um, are put in a position to be able to take chances, take risks, and be able to figure out and explore ultimately what they want to be. For example, one of the hallmark experiences students get is in our integrated business cluster where as a sophomore, students take a handful of courses in business disciplines and work with a live client. Again, I wanna emphasize, this happens when you're a sophomore. So we wanna make sure that the culminating experience is not necessarily your senior year, but we train you early and we allow you to take those risks that are so important to being successful in the business world early on in your career. There are so many opportunities for you to be able to travel, whether it's in the state of Ohio, around the United States, or around the world. So if you wanna take a chance and take that internship in California or New York, or go study abroad, we have programs for you. And one of the wonderful things about our curriculum is that it gives our students the flexibility to be able to pick multiple majors, minors, and certificates, something I already talked about before, but I just wanna emphasize that point once again, because so many of our students will come out of the College of Business uh, multifaceted. They will have the marketing skills paired with analytics and maybe some finance. They'll have a, a basis in sales as well as experience in strategic leadership and management. Heck, we've got sport management as one of the programs in the College of Business, which is uh, traditionally ranked as the number one program in the world. And you can pair that up with other business functions and really set the industry on fire. Yeah, the culture here in the College of Business is something that I have never before experienced in my life. And it's something that anywhere I go, I hope the culture emulates. You know, Dr. Strode, thank you for your time today. Is there anything else you would like to cover that I haven't asked you? Yes, I, I do wanna talk about our phenomenal faculty. We have so many amazing faculty who, as I mentioned before, can connect our students to the industry, who are dynamic in the classroom, who are engaging, and again, really embody the culture of the College of Business that we talked about a little bit before. Another thing that I think is, is really special is when I go walk around a career fair or interact with students in or outside the classroom, our students, may not necessarily be job ready coming out of the gates as a freshman, um, but they are polished and they start to really shape uh, into strong professionals very early on in their career. I mentioned Cluster, I think Cluster is a part of that. All of our student organizations, all of our experiential learning, all of our opportunities help shape students. So. When I see them as freshmen and then I see them as seniors, it's amazing the transformation that goes on uh, with our students. And I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about the fact that there is something in the water here in Athens, Ohio that brings our alumni back. There is a strong affinity for, for business Bobcats who want to not only come back and visit Athens, but give back, give back their time, connect with our students. Uh, we use the phrase Ohio family a lot, 
And what Ohio Family really is, is that Bobcats look out for Bobcats. So when it comes time for you to take that next step after college, odds are there's gonna be a handful of Bobcats that are gonna have your back. Thank you, Dr. Strode, so much for your time today. Next will be Kelly Thaxton, another one of our student ambassadors. Hi, my name is Kelly Thaxton and I am a senior within the College of Business. So my areas of study, I'm actually a triple major in management information systems, data analytics, and marketing. Um, I've enjoyed all three majors and they kind of come with this dorky love of, of marketing and technology and people. So I think the triple major was the best route for me. I heard about Ohio University um, actually through my mom. Um, I'm a first generation college student, so the college process and search for me was so stressful. However, my mom was just kind of flipping through a magazine one day and, and saw Ohio University on this list and said, you know what, I think you should visit there. And I was like, ah, okay, like I was a high school senior. Um, and then I showed up at Ohio University and it was just the most beautiful place I ever could have imagined, honestly. Um, it was a feeling of home right from stepping on campus that I will never forget. I decided to attend Ohio University not just because of the beautiful campus, but because it was the only place that I felt like the faculty really, really cared about me as a high school student. Um, I remember a professor during an interview that I had for a program I'm part of gave me his email and said, even if you don't go here, even if you choose a different college, please know I am always here. Send me an email. I would love to continue talking. And that was the type of faculty interaction um, and care that I didn't see anywhere else. So immediately, Ohio University just became home. I am part of a couple different student organizations. So I was president of information systems and analytics professionals here on campus, uh, which is the student organization dedicated to helping information systems majors and analytics majors find their path. Additionally, I was president of Copeland Scholars and a vice president in the Ralph and Lucy Shea Sale Center here on campus. So I've been incredibly involved, but you know, every student here in the College of Business and at Ohio University is super supportive of high involvement. So every step of the way, I felt totally happy. My favorite place on campus um, is actually a specific spot when you're you know, walking down Court Street. Um, so it's actually the spot right across from Copeland where you're standing by the traffic light, which I know that seems incredibly silly, but it is this part of campus where you're standing there and you see the College of Business, which is where I've made my home for the past four years. But you also see like the really beautiful hills of Athens. And then you also see down Court Street where, you know, the heart of Athens is and where so many people go to eat and have fun. Um, so that's my favorite spot on campus. It's just something that I feel like encompasses what Ohio University has been for me. You know, the, the, the nature of it and the environment and the people. Uh, I love that spot. My experience with Copeland Court courses has been absolutely incredible and my learning community. Um, one, I can't speak highly enough about, you know, my students, my fellow students and my learning community. They were all so kind and so high achieving and so wonderful and always made me feel welcome and happy. Like it's so nice to walk into a class and see a friendly face smiling at you and sitting next to them and saying, you know, let's get this done, let's do this class. Um, additionally, all the faculty in the Copeland Corps and all the faculty in the College of Business are absolutely wonderful. I actually had a professor in my BA 1100 course, which is Intro to Business. His name was Dr. Brown and he is somebody that I frequently talk to beyond freshman year. Um, when I actually got my full-time job offer, he was one of the first faculty members to reach out to me and say congratulations, and, and that was four years later. So I think that really speaks to, you know, how much the faculty care here. So my experience working with the advisors and the career coaches in the College of Business has been absolutely wonderful. Um, when I actually work with them in the office, I am a peer consultant with the College of Business, so I work directly with them. But even, you know, before I worked in the office, you could tell that the advisors knew you and they wanted to help you endlessly. Um, I walked into Chris Washko, one of the advisors offices my sophomore year and was like, I don't want to, I don't know what to do with my life. What, what do I do? What is college? And he was so incredibly helpful in making me feel calm and talking me through, you know, what my passions were and how he could help me. And again, he was someone that throughout my four years was constantly checking in and constantly supporting me, which is something you just don't get other places. One professor that I particularly think that does an excellent job of supporting students is Dr. Vic Mata. He is a professor of analytics in the College of Business. 
And Dr. Vikmata is one of those professors that is fun and lively in class. He is so fun, especially talking about analytics, he is so fun to listen to because he gets so excited and passionate. But additionally, he is somebody that cares about his students. He will pick a student out of a crowd at a career fair that he's had in class and say, hey, how can I help you? I know some alumni. And he will walk up with you to a career fair booth and say, hi, this is so-and-so. I think they're a fantastic student. Uh, I'd really like us to start a conversation between you two. So post-graduation, I actually already have a job lined up and I've had a job lined up since August of this year. So really before classes even started for my senior year. Um, I will be working with Whirlpool Corporation as a sales execution representative and hopefully work in sales operations there in my future career. Um, so I'm moving up to Michigan, which is very exciting. Um, and you know, having that full-time job offer uh, is definitely in part due to the wonderful faculty here at Ohio University. A lot of them have connections to Whirlpool Corporation and so many other amazing places to work and will help you get a job and will make recommendations. If I were to give any other advice to potential incoming freshmen or incoming freshmen for Ohio University College of Business, I would say that you are about to start a, a humongous journey for four years and you're going to have to find yourself and you're going to have successes and you're going to make mistakes, but it'll be okay. Uh, Ohio University College of Business is a place that you will find support and you will find family. Um, and they are always going to be there to, to pick you up and cheer you on. So good luck in your four years um, and I can't wait to see what successes you have.